So I'm really excited because I'm about to interview one of my idols and favourite authors, Jacqueline Wilson. So let's go. Let's have a bite. <laughs> it's so good. Here she is. Hi. So what were you like as a teenager? Well, when I was 13 or so, are you 13? Yeah. I was quite shy. I was desperate to be a writer, but I didn't really like to tell too many people because they just think I was showing off or being stupid or whatever. So did you then have an idea of what you wanted to write about? Well, weirdly, there's, there's a passage in my old teenage diary somewhere. I say in this so pompous, silly way, <laughs> of course, the one thing I'd never, ever write is children's books. Ah! <laughs> What was your favourite subject at school? Oh, inevitably English. Um, I loved English literature because uh, I always loved reading, but um, I didn't come from the sort of home where we had that many books. And we had a very good English teacher, but she was so picky. I so tried so hard to impress her with Aye. my English essays. And she was always moaning that I used too much slang or that oh. <laughs> chattier tone or whatever. So uh, I did get quite cast down from, from trying to please her. Were you a good uh, teenager or a good kid or did you get ever get, ever get into trouble? Um, I was quietly subversive. Um, <laughs> I had a very bossy mum. I wasn't allowed to choose my own clothes. I never felt my clothes were cool. Because when I was young, the leading girls wanted to be a beatnik where you wore black all over and you had black tights and you had wrinkle picker shoes and that's what I wanted to wear my mum thought that was ridiculous and so you know she would she would put me in really bright hand knitted jumpers <laughs> and oh gosh it was agony it was agony <laughs> are you considered a good girl I mean I think so <laughs> um, I've never had detention at school so yeah. I guess that's good oh your parents <laughs> must be very proud of you I think so <laughs> Did you have a favourite music artist or band um, or...? Well, that was so weird because a lot of my friends started to get crushes on people <laughs> and um, Elvis was considered, you know, very special. And also, now this will seem so bizarre, Cliff Richard was considered oh. very sexy. <laughs> 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 Cliff. <laughs> Poor Cliff. <laughs> I was silly enough to want to fit in so much yeah. that I would pretend to have big passions on so and so because they did, but, but wasn't not really, really that yeah. bothered. So, what was your life like as a kid? Like, did you have any siblings? Like, I longed, longed for siblings, particularly a sister. Thought that would be wonderful, but I was an only child, oh. and. Um, and my mum and dad didn't get on and had lots of rows. So I tended to sort of keep myself in a corner and try and keep out of it all. So it was, it wasn't exactly a lonely childhood because I loved to read, I loved to draw, I loved to do all sorts of different things. And I was forever making up things and sort of playing imaginary games when I was little. So, so that was absolutely fine. But it wasn't that sort of, ordinary norm yeah. mucking around together yeah. as a family at, at all. I often felt just a little bit on edge, particularly around my dad who had, you see, I've got just a little bit of a temper. My dad's temper was explosive. Oh, wow. So, you know, you, you just never knew. I didn't, you know, it wasn't hit or anything. Well, my mum smacked me sometimes, but you know, it wasn't really hurt at yeah. all, but it was not, not a relaxed childhood, put it that way. You were way. always a bit on edge. I was, yeah. I was, which um, is why perhaps in my books I often write about kids, you know, going through a slightly difficult time or whatever, because, you know, I, I know wh what, what it like, feels yeah. like, yes. Would you say, like, writing books or, like, just writing in general, um, especially when you were younger, was a sort of escapism for you? I think so. Um, but I think 
no matter what sort of childhood I'd had, I think I would still have written. I've made you a stem ginger cake, so Ooh. I hope you like ginger. Oh, bless you, darling. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't think I've you. ever been given such a lovely a cake. Oh, I'm really glad. Let's have a bite. I love this cake. It's so good. Good. Oh, you're brilliant. Ah. It's delicious. That's good, so I'm really much. glad. She was absolutely amazing. I wish she was my grandma.